Please do. Okay. Please do. <laughs> All right, moving on now. After more than two decades of unconventional warfare, the fight against terrorism in Nigeria continues to evolve. Reports say Boko Haram has established a recruitment center at Danilahi village in Niger Republic. Counter-insurgency experts in Lake Chad say the intention of the terror group is to teach extremist views to the boys and girls that are unemployed in the Sahel region. It is believed that there had been influx of Boko Haram extremists fleeing continued Islamic State of West African province, Iswap, onslaught at Sambisa Forest in Bornu State, Northeast Nigeria. This latest development now results in the attack and kidnap of residents in the J Republic. Jide, you know I used to ask this question that the number of people that have uh, surrendered, mm. the number of people they've killed, that how do they still get people, more people, more people to swell their ranks? They will always find people unless governments become more um, ubiquitous in terms of the, uh, the, the reach of their programs meant to develop the very rural mm. part of our country. There are many parts of the North, for example, where they've not felt any impact mm. of government. Mm. Yeah. Especially those I remember region. when I went to Kankara, mm. where those uh, schoolboys were kidnapped in yes. Kasina. We went to a village called Dansabao. Mm. That Dansabao is separated from Zamfara State by a stream, mm. I, I can't even call it a river, mm -hmm. by a stream, just mm -hmm. a natural separation. The other side is Zamfara. Mm. If you see road mm. leading to the place, mm. ah, how terrible. Oh my mm. God. Mm. Ordinarily, ordinarily, you should be able to, in 18 minutes, you should be able to get to that village. But it took us more than two hours. No and that government is presence at all. With e so mm. multi terrain vehicles, so yeah. multi terrain vehicles, yet two hours plus for an 18 minutes journey. And no light, mm. nothing. The people, so they are just there. Basic amenities. And that, no, basically, no, no water, no water, no electricity, no potable water, no electricity. They are just on their own. And you know, these are, are people, their standards are not high. All they want is let government even do Fit. something, no matter how little for them. Mm. Now, where you fail to take governance to those nooks and crannies, remote, remote. these boys, Boko Haram, and other, uh, even bandits are doing the same thing mm. now. Bandits are recruiting young men and women in Casino State. Even the governor told me by himself that more and more women are coming into banditry. Mm. So, now, when you fail to do your duty of making life meaningful to these people, mm. these band, uh, terrorists will come mm. and then say, look, you've been forgotten about government, by government. You've been forgotten by government. Mm. But we can make life more meaningful for you. Come and join us. Mm -hmm. Your life will be better when you join us. Mm. They are doing that. They are working. They, they are... They are uh, so sitting are doing that, mm. even in the northeast, I mean, in the northwest now with banditry, you see people like Belo Truji, they are recruiting mm. young people, they are recruiting um, spies mm. who will stand by the roadside and be watching vehicles passing. Mm. Mm. And then when they see somebody in an SUV, they say, oh, CKN is coming with his uh, uh, SUV. <laughs> mm -hmm. and wait for him. <laughs> <laughs> They will go and wait for, wait you, for in you in front. front. They've hired mm -hmm. people who are doing that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, in the mm -hmm. cities, in the cities now, mm -hmm. they've hired women who spy on other women, mm -hmm. spy on other people. They will now go and be kidnapping those people. It was inside Guso that mm -hmm. they kidnapped the essay to the governor Zanfara mm -hmm. on political matters mm -hmm. inside the state capital. Mm -hmm. They need information like that. And with Tucanos decimating their ranks constantly, with uh, um, the infighting between them leading to hundreds of deaths, 
because the Shekau people mm. have not forgiven ISWAP. They are going after ISWAP. They are slaughtering them. Mm. They need to replace the people being lost because they want this terrorism to still continue. Their sponsors will bring money. So they need to recruit more people. This thing started a long time ago along the border with Niger Republic. There are young people being trained, they will give them money. Mm. They are recruiting them, they will give them money. And once they give this uh, uh, children money, those they've joined them, they may never come back again. In any case, what is life, what is the value of life after all to a lot of these people? Mm. People have not f felt the impact of government. So when these ones take them away and shower money at them, for a, a foreign currency, mm. but they have access to it, it's finished. If they like, they can take them all the way to Mali to go and fight. They can take them to uh, um, um, Burkina Faso and even Mauritania mm. because their, their presence is in all of those mm. places. If they like, they use them in Nigeria. Mercedes. Some of the people being used by terrorists in our country are not Nigerians. I've said it, even uh, bandits too are recruiting foreigners now to come and fight in our country. Mm. So this is the thing. We have to attack their recruitment source, do make it difficult for them to find people to recruit, we have to go after their access for money. Because without money, they won't be able to buy weapons. Yeah. So if we can do that, then even the issue of uh, uh, access to illicit drugs, because yes. without illicit drugs, the hole is high. you can't simply take a knife and say you are cutting another person's neck. Ah. It takes, it takes semi-madness. Mm. to do some of these things, and it is drugs mm. that predispose people to behave like animals. Mm. Mm. So, when you see the role poverty play, unemployment and yes, everything, exactly. and the inability of our government to reach out to that level, yeah. you know, yeah. the state government, that's why we have state government, we have local government, but these people, I don't, I don't know, because local government should be very close to these people, in, uh, wherever they are. That's why you've hit the nail on the head. The issue number one is poverty. The level of poverty in the north is so high. Mm. Across the country now. <laughs> the, uh, the north mm. is even higher. Mm. Secondly, second uh, tied to that, education. Most of the young children in the north are out of school. The armagery system is causing a lot of havoc. I was, I, I've been saying this several I was in Bauchi, um, I was in Kanu, and uh, one other state, I can't remember now, some years back, AY. If you see the number of children on the streets, yes. carrying plates, yes. begging, AY just came back from the north mm. for the election. Mm. I'm sure you must have seen it too. Of course, of course. Any restaurant, any, resta uh, you, you just, any restaurants you sit down to at eat, the point time, you, I, I, you will I see them the yeah, you see, with their bowls. With their bowls. They will, most of them have not even had their bath for weeks. You yes. need to see their body. Mm. I was so scared at a point mm. that I was saying, what is this, this problem? In the next 10, 15 years now, those so guys those are very, very fatal recruit, fatal recruitment. I had one where we stopped wanting to eat because of the sheer number of these things. I have to now put my hand in my pocket and say, please give them break. They started fighting because you will see over five, six, seven of them rushing after one to look for bread. Yes. Mm. At, and time, at that point, you, you ask to, yourself, you need to do something if, seriously. Then at that point, you ask yourself, if somebody, this student can run after a loaf of bread, four, five, then you can imagine somebody giving the 100 naira. And for them to do certain things. And that is why it was always very easy to mobilize them for any mischief in the north. If you want to see any riot, look at some of the uh, recently, even in some of the election we just had. And when you see some of those going to certain houses and breaking houses, and this, they are just kids, very kids. Most of them don't stay with their parents. Once they, are, they get to a certain age, they are handed over to uh, our fathers and the rest of them. That is where they stay. Those ones also, we send them out to go and beg. So it has become a very recruiting, further recruiting ground for terrorists. And we just have to address the issue of poverty. Number one. Two is education. GD, AY. If the children are in school, mm -hmm. it will be difficult for you to come and just like in the South here, 
In the morning, our children That's go to school. That's what Sule Lamido did then. Yes. So you in cannot the... see at Majiri when Sule Lamido was gone. Yes, in Jigawa. in Jigawa. He did because, it. Because, because he, 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 will take, he will send you to jail mm -hmm. if they find your uh, child. Mm -hmm. And he made even secondary school, he, he, he made sure that um, it was, uh, what was it called? Compulsory. Uh, compulsory. Compulsory. And, and, and burden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they will be guaranteed. I know that, uh, that Nasir Enu Pai wanted to do something along that line at one, at one point. I don't know how. No, whether he, he, he also whether did, whether did, whether he he did it. He but also did the it. You will see the level of out of school children in the north. So the, that is, those are the kind of agenda we'll be setting for most of these new leaders, especially in the north. It's not just about saying, oh, you want to empower them, you want to do. Kwakwans also did something a little bit when he was, when he was a governor of uh, Kanu State. Kanu State. Mm. He tried. You have to but make education level. free. Free. A lot so, of those parents cannot that, pay. That is it. They can't pay wife fees, they can't pay school fees. So make uh, education free and quality. At least. So so some of those boys, so some of these level. boys we call at Majid, if they yeah. get a chance. Yeah. Yes. Then some of them are very brilliant. Yes. If yes. they get a chance, yes. they will do better than privileged children. Look at some of those students that were kidnapped. Uh, where is it now? From uh, this place that were taken by Boko Haram that were released later. This uh, Chibo Yes. See some of them that were sent abroad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go and see how, 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 how you could see what they did. We're dusting everybody. You were dusting people and dusting. So that so the opportunity is the there. Opportunity. So, so but our government need to address, and that is why I have problem. When the minister of uh, what's her name now, uh, humanitarian, affairs. humanitarian affairs, is saying and telling us how much he spent on it, where most of this bulk of this money needs to be spent, they are not spending it. All right. We we'll take this break. When we come back, we'll talk 